Hey, together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back. Wait, why do I play with a controller all of a sudden? Ah, uh, whoopsie. So, there I am, mouse and keyboard. Much better. And welcome back to another part of a story about my uncle. So, it runs a bit smoother this time, as you can see, because I'm recording with my other setup this time. So, yeah, we come from behind there. So that means our next destination should be here. So, everything's recording, good. Wait, there it is. And Pushki! I fucked myself! Well, I actually could have saved me. Boom! And boom! Made it! Made it! Yeah, he pushed one over here, but whatever. Uh, boom! I don't need to super jump for that because I can do it like whoop! That. We don't talk about that! Okay, that one. Boom! And sup, 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 sup. Ooh, yeah, smooth landing! Uh, get me up there, please. That was close. Okay, I'm up here now. It's still. I marked it. Now it's mine. Okay. In the last episode we just uh, learned a little bit about our abilities that we have. When grappling and a moving object you will follow along. That is something I would think I would do. And there, those are by the way checkpoints. So whenever I die I will respond to them and also will reload at them whenever I blonk and the game. So there's that. And Habushki Uh Leo Gimme that. I want to land I want to crush my skull against the wall. Because that feels much nicer. Also it really is running smoother than last time. So recording like this actually helped me out a lot. Come to me and slingshot and perfect landing. Hossa! Okay, let's see. Shine symbols, like them or don't. I really want to know what they are supposed to mean, but whatever. Let's run. Yes, whenever they puff up like this, I think I've activated one. So where is my next goal? Let's push and let's get flung over to there and plonk. Made it. Perfect. I was scared that I didn't do that right. I try to find as much as I can. I'm not gonna go for 100% because how would I? And boom. And... Nope, don't. I thought that I had to land down here. That looked more like a bolt. Bolt. Okay, that thing is wobbling around here. I need to get up there. So, Kingy, can go, come on, come down here and let me follow you around in circles. And fling me over there, please let me do this. That scared the living crap out of me that there was a little latch. Holy crap. Beautiful, boom. Beautiful. Whew. Okay, we only died once so far and that was just because I'm stupid. And I think those are gonna be most of the deaths in this series. Because I'm stupid. There's nothing down there. There's something over there, but I think that's out of bounds, so I'm not concerning myself with that. And boom! Uh oh. Uh oh, oh. Why didn't this work properly? Boom! Oh no, 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 no. I was at the wrong bridge. But I made it! There's another one of those crystals. 
second power card. You can grapple two times before landing. Thank you. So that means I find the third one so they can, can grapple two times. Now I can chain them up. Big floating ball. Balls. Also, what is that over there? That looks way too much like something to ignore it. So, why not? Boom! And... And... Ah... Uh, it wouldn't let me grapple onto it. Okay, and boom! I don't know if I can go over there, it just looks like something, but I think it's nothing. Because I was at its height and it killed me, so... I think that's nothing. I killed myself for curiosity here. Because curiosity killed the cat. I should charge this one up before I start running. Okay. Um, goodbye. And plonk. Nice. Looks like the, uh, the bird in the Egyptian deserts. If you know what I mean... Congrats to you. If you don't know what I mean, lit circle indicators how many times I can grapple. Yes, that is something that we just tried out. Okay, if you don't know what I mean, I'm gonna place uh, the picture of it if I find a good one right here. If I find one, that is. Because I don't know how they are called. Oh, and whoosh! And whoosh! And. Bonk! Ah, oh, bashed my skull against the wall, but whatever! I'm fine! Just a major concussion, but that is. That is everything. There's a symbol down here, but I don't think that I am supposed to go down there. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go down there, so let's go away from here. Also, it's freaking. Target time, so... You know what, give me a short second. Okay. Whoops. I'm back. And it's still running smooth. That's good. A pushki. And chop. Okay, I upped the quality of the game again a little bit to see if everything's still running smooth. And as it looks like, it still is. Boom. Made it. I think my next goal is to go up there, so let's do that. Nice. Very nice. Okay. One more step up, please. Whoop. I really want to know why there are things just floating around. There's... Oh, you were dead. Well, I found you nonetheless. Good, and one more of those things, telegraph of things, whatever they may be. Yes, 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 I know where I have to place my trust in you and get carried around. I don't like placing my trust in a giant floating rock, but whatever. Uh, boop. Hello, my friend. I'm just gonna... Hop onto you over here and fly like an angel onto places that I'm not supposed to be on. Well, isn't that game looking beautiful? And deadly. Okay. There comes my ride. And boom. This makes me feel unsure, like when you try to grab a ski, a ski lift. Ski lift? Ski lift? I don't know. Oh my god! Well, that was a close one. But I did it. Uh, sorry? Okay, here I have my hand. Here I give it away. Why? 
you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, he took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special, but I don't know what happened to them. Well, if those are the frog eggs, then they are here, in this very, very strange place. And I didn't know that mosquito eggs were also so jelly-like like frog eggs and are caviar. Boom. Well, whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Well, then let's go up. up. Excuse me. Don't make her shung sounds. Nope, that's just a rock. Just a rock, everybody. Nothing to be concerned about. Uh, sorry? Okay. So we're getting actually kind of far into this cave without not even knowing where we're going. Um, ta taxi, and never mind. I'm gonna go over there, and here I am, flying like a birdie. Whoop, bonk. Okay, I made it. I'm I'm good to go. I'm over here. Perfect. I'm unsure where I am. More of those symbols and a safe spot for me. And um, where's my ride? There it is. Woo! And flying and just to make sure I save myself from dying. Because I already died once in this ep twice in this episode, once because of stupid me and the other one because of curiosity. And also stupid me. I'm not saying that it wasn't stupid me, but it was my curiosity that killed me the second time. Hmm, these blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? Well, we will find that out. Also, those are not blue. What the hell, where am I? There I am. It looks beautiful. Especially when you look around and everything is sparkling like that. If you stand still, it's just like that. But looking around, it sparkles. That's nice. I cannot run, by the way. And also cannot jump, so if I jump down here, I would be dead. Because I cannot... I can zoom again! Yes! Just more symbols. Those look like paths I can go. Oh! Uh, it is moving! Hello. Hello. Who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. 
I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why, really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people. Or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walked like humans. They talked like humans. How is that possible? I blame Fred. Uh oh. Made it. And made it. And swing. And okay. I thought that I would make a stupid decision, but I, I, I saved it. Okay, so. Idiot, you indicate no secret at all. So there are front people, so this is what the super secret special eggs were after all. Frog people! Ah! But where are we exactly in time and space? Thank you! That doesn't help me so much. Okay. Okay. What am I gonna do here? I think I'm gonna die. Whoop, and whoop, and plonk. Ooh, be careful. Don't kill yourself. Nice. Really interesting. Poof in my eyes. And boom. And taking the right up and taking the right over there. Whoop. Nice! Perfectly! Nifty! Okay, we're looking... Sorry, Rock didn't want to pump into you. So this seems to be the city, the village, the... Square. Where is... Oh. Hey. Don't just scream at me. Oh, there you are. Oh, Hi. there's. Welcome Hi. to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later! I thanked Madeline uh. and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? Well, we also talk to dogs and cats like they are human, so why is that strange to you? The only thing that I find funny is... Whoosh! Or is it just the ground behind her that... Oh, I'm not... I'm not focusing on to her, even though it looks like it. I'm focusing on the place behind her. Whoop! See? But it really looks like I can grab onto the people. Well, let's see. Billboard. Yeah, frogs. Eggs and frogs. And, yeah. I don't know what they are called in English, I'm sorry. Energy, that seems to be Fred. Tomatoes equal corn. Write that down, everybody. That is important. Tomatoes equal corn. At least... Four tomatoes equal two corn. I think that's just... Hello? Hello? <laughs> that's funny. That's good. I like that. <laughs> okay, there are flowers. Give me them. Whoa. Repulsive flowers. Cool. Womp. 
Well, well, not those ones, but the little ones. Boom. Hi there. You have tomatoes and cucumbers, unless this should be corn. I cannot check. I'm jumping too high to check. What do you have? A broken plate. A cake lifter or whatever they are called. And pants. Hello? I think they just speak gibberish. Because I tried to listen to them and it was just gibberish. Okay. And there's nothing here. Perfect. So I can go over there. But we're not gonna go over there. We're gonna leave this episode right here. We looked a little bit around the um, town. Didn't we, Maddie? Nice. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you to the next part of a story about my uncle. So, bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>